You're the break after the bend How much farther will we fall? And I'll wait for us to land Still suspended, it's still dark When I looked over my plans This wasn't there, yeah, here we are You're the break after the bend How much farther will we fall? How much farther can we y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Kima um, I know it's been a minute since I've got on I think the last time we spoke or I got on camera was for Kyrie's graduation and it was a lot going on that day I didn't get a chance to get back on camera but I decided to pick up the camera because we're finally leaving California we are leaving California as a family it's the first time we're leaving California like everybody but yeah, um, I gotta go pick up the boys now. Oh, I didn't even let y'all know. So although Kyrie graduated from his daycare and he starts kindergarten with Trey in August, they still allow me to bring him near. So I'm still happy about that because I had to run a lot of errands and get a lot of stuff done these past couple of days. And y'all know how it is when y'all have kids and y'all trying to get stuff done. They always kind of make you get distracted. They want this, they want that. So as y'all can see, I just got my hair braided. I've been wanting to get my hair braided for so long. I like to just get up and go and not have to worry about doing my hair. So braids was definitely a must for this trip. But yeah, that's what's been going on. So I'm gonna vlog a little bit more once we get to our destination. I'm gonna show y'all the hotel. I will speak to y'all probably when we get to the airport or on our way to the airport, I'll probably speak with y'all. And that will be that. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home and I am packing as y'all can see. Right now, everything is just kind of in there. I just did laundry, so I was just putting um, Trey stuff here, Kyrie stuff in the middle, then my stuff is the last, and I was sitting on this little chair. The boys were watching TV, but they said they wanted to go out, so they're outside right now playing ball with the dog. I don't know why they chose to go outside when it's cooler inside. It's like 97 degrees outside. I need to relax a little bit because I've been ripping and running all morning. I woke up, dropped them off, went straight to my breast augmentation post-op appointment. This was my last appointment. They said everything looked good so I don't have to make any more appointments to come back. But they told me if I have any questions to give them a call. Then right after that, I went and got my hair done and she finished within the four hours and then I had to drive all the way back here, pick up the boys, get them something to eat, finish getting last minute stuff. So now I'm just, just gonna finish packing up. Then I'm going to get in the shower, put all the bags in the car cause we gotta get up at three. Be out the door by 3.30 in the morning. Our flight is at six. I wanna get a head start on sleep. I'ma make sure I pack them some food cause I know they're gonna be hungry in the morning. That way I don't gotta buy nothing at the airport cause they overpriced everything. Yeah, I'm gonna pack food and snacks and I told them they could bring some toys. So let me stop rambling and I just wanted to let y'all know um, the process. So I'll probably just speak to y'all tomorrow morning when we're on our way and we have the morning faces. <laughs> So I'll see y'all later. So I just want to get back on here and tell y'all that I finished packing everything up. And why did I get a text saying that they canceled my flight? So I'm on the phone with um, the airlines right now to try to figure something out because I already booked my hotel. I'm supposed to check in tomorrow and now they want me to reschedule for a whole different day. I swear to God, like, it's always something I cannot make up the stuff that happens to me. Like, I'm so over it. They said due to the severe weather, I guess it's supposed to be a thunderstorm, they canceled the flight, but they don't have anything closer to the time I need to fly out. I want to fly out in the morning so I can get there for check-in at the hotel. Cause you know, they'll cancel your reservations if you don't check in. And I already called the hotel prior to them telling me that my flight is canceled to let them know that I'll be checking in tomorrow a little bit after four. So I'm on hold right now. And it's going to be a minute. So I'm about to run me a bathtub and just wait for them to answer. Because everything else is packed. I have family members waiting on me, expecting me to get there, come there. They're gonna post pick me up from the airport. Like, now I gotta change literally everything. I know when I booked these flights, I paid for the trip protection, so I'm glad I did that. It should cover if I have to make any other changes to the trip. So yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that situation. I'll just update y'all whatever they say. Wish me luck. I'll speak to y'all later. Oh 
my gosh. So I just got off the phone with the hotel because now I had to make new reservations. <gasps> Something always going wrong. Like, it's crazy. They could not find my reservations for the hotel that I booked because they said it was through a third party. They asked me for the confirmation number. They couldn't find my confirmation number because I did everything through Priceline. If you go on Priceline and you book a flight, they give you the option to book a hotel and that's what I did. So, they was like, oh, you gotta get in touch with Priceline because they the third party. So I called Priceline and they keep telling me that um, they sent it to my email, but there is no, no email. So then I called the reservations back that I already have for the hotel. And they asked me what's my name. I gave them my name, my last name. Then they found my reservations, right? I mean, they found my name, but they kept telling me that the phone number and the email address that I was trying to uh, give them was incorrect. They said it was under somebody else. So I'm like, maybe I did it under Eric. No, and I didn't. But I just was like, that's the only person it would be under. So I gave them Eric's email. They was like, no. That they had to call like the manager in the front desk. Come to find out, um, the hotel reserved my reservations underneath their email address and their phone number, but they still have my name there. So it was a whole big thing because they couldn't verify that it was really me. I'm like, why would they give them their email instead of mine, but have my name there? So anyway, it's all figured out now. They canceled my flight, so we won't be in New York today. We will be in New York tomorrow, but we leave today. It's going to be a long day because the wait is a three hour wait in um, San Francisco. But I'm about to water these plants before we go. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning. What? We leaving today, but it's gonna be dark. Uh, I know. I'm mad too. They canceled our flight. It's all nice here and it's all rainy in New York. They canceled it because they said it's a severe thunderstorm. Let me show y'all what they text me. It's so irritating. I'm starting to think like I really have bad luck. Like every time it's time to go somewhere. Something bad happened. Mommy, what is this for? What is this for, mommy? Your knee pads. So like when you're riding the bike. Can you put this on me? Bro, I just said the same thing. I said every time I'm about to come to New York, it's always a delay, it's always a problem, it's always something. This is the third time. But they basically said that they canceling it because of a severe thunderstorm and they just gave me a later time. So instead of me getting there today, I'm gonna be there tomorrow morning. Like, I think I arrived 5 a.m. in the morning. I was just talking to my cousin. But um, yeah, let me show y'all. Yeah, hold on, let me show them. Text that is that you're going in the street. You better not. Can y'all see? It says thunderstorm across the New York City metro area may cause disruption to your upcoming flight, including um, delays or cancellations if you have book, blah blah blah. But anyway, let me show you the part where they just canceled it. Like they just straight up canceled the hair ago. It says, we've rebooked you on a new flight because the flight United Airlines 514 at 8 o'clock from Los Angeles to New York is canceled. Your new flight is blah, 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 blah. So the flight is at 449. So y'all see, that's what we're dealing with right now. Get out the street, bro. These are actually trays. Yours was the, um. Yours was the, um. What is it? Pigeon Yeah, that was yours. Stop. It's supposed to be like that, so if you pull, that's how it is. Kyrie not helping me, so I'm like, water the pants myself. This little boy. <laughs> Y'all, what is going on with my life? What is going on? Why is it always something going on? Oh, well, y'all can't even see me. Move. So we got a lot of time to kill. I even went to go get Trey a haircut. I was gonna have Eric do it, but I'd rather it just be professionally done. So Trey got his haircut. I'm about to put these in this bucket over here and water these plants before we go. Our good grass is finally getting green again. Mommy, I got drink. That's why I got 
just hold my knee. This is what we use. You were supposed to be helping me. No, I'm done now. Hey y'all, so we just made it to the airport. We're getting all the luggage out the car. You tired? Where's your sweater? You're gonna need that. It's hot now, but it's gonna be. Yeah. You're gonna wear it on the plane, and not the first plane, the second plane. Ain't this thing is heavy. Now is a good time to review the safety guard in your seat back pocket in front of you. Please take a look even if you're a frequent flyer. Aircraft type is different. 
If you're unable or prefer not to sit in the extra row, please let me know. We're on our way. the hotel and my sister came and got the boys and took them to my mother's house so we can just relax and take a little nap because the whole trip was a disaster there's so much stuff that happened like everything that couldn't go wrong went wrong couldn't even check in our cars got declined when we was um trying to pay in the taxi it was just so much stuff going on but we're here, we made it safe, that's really what matters. And um, my mother got to see her grandkids, and my aunt is with them, and they're about to bring them back. And I'm gonna try to take them to the Brooklyn Bridge Park, and just enjoy the rest of my time, because we already missed one full day, which was yesterday. Let me give you our room tour. So, cool with this. This is the front door. Right here is the bathroom. I already took a shower, that's why it's like that. It's a pretty decent bathroom size. Um, it's funny. <laughs> Ever came in, he was like, Why did you bring your nightlight grow up? I'm like, I did not bring that nightlight, it was already here. But um, yeah, sink, toilet, go by our toiletries, shower. I just ate some food that I had made. Oh, luggage. I guess this is a connected room. And then two beds. And that's that. We don't really have no good view. We're on the second floor, so. The weather is kind of crazy. It's like warm, but kind of chilly. Right now it's muggy, but earlier today it was like chilly. I don't know, it's weird. New York weather is weird, but well, let me show y'all what I'm wearing. Yeah, I will catch y'all later. Hey y'all, so we are on the Brooklyn Bridge right now. As y'all can see, that's the Freedom Tower over there. Statue of Liberty is all the way over there. Let me see if I can get a closer view. I just wanted to give Eric a different perspective of Brooklyn because he only been to my hood and I wanted to show him like it's more to New York than just Brown. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. So that's the Statue of Liberty. There she is, beautiful lady. I'm gonna zoom back out. And then the Freedom Tower is literally right here. So yeah, and the weather is like really perfect. So it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's just right, like this is the perfect day, I would say, to come to walk the bridge. Because a lot of times when you buy the water, y'all know it's chilly, but it feels really good. We took a few pictures or whatnot. Anything you say? Hi, New York. Hi, New York, that's what you gotta say. But yeah, um, we're about to probably walk back because we're not going to walk the whole bridge. I think he said it's about a mile. What you said it was? How long? 1.3 miles. And it takes 25 minutes to walk. I, didn't, I never knew that. But I guess it all depends on the person. Shorter than the PRT. <laughs> well, we ran the PRT. So, so I could be there and back in 25 minutes. Down the line. So yeah, this is, this is what it is. Just wanted to show y'all real quick. Getting kind of hot out here. We'll check back with y'all later on.
I don't know how y'all drive right here, man. We were in the hotel, I had the window open, I didn't hear it. Siren about 11 times. <laughs> That's what I told him. That's what I told him. I said, you don't even hear them because nope. I'm so used to it. Yep. <laughs> 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 Y'all know what it's like. Yeah. Yeah.
We are at Okima's family's, um, not a reunion, but. Got them over there on the grill. So we're at a memorial for her auntie that passed away this, uh, earlier this year, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I get this. Get a good shot. Nope, they don't want to let me get a good shot. All right. Well, that's fine.
was actually a really good trip. We really enjoyed that. So minus the fact that the first day we were supposed to be here was Thursday, but they canceled it. So when I get home, I'm gonna try to see if I can get reimbursed for that day. But other than that, it was so nice to see all my family members. I love them to death. Like, oh my God, when we get around each other, it's always a good time. I'm really gonna miss them. It's always bittersweet when I have to leave, but this is the first time that everybody was able to meet Kyrie. They were able to see Trey when Trey was a little bit younger. So that was nice. And I don't know the next time we're gonna all come back out here, but it was nice while it lasted. When we get to California, I'll check back in with y'all. See you later. Hey y'all, so this is the last day in Vegas. We've been here since last week, Thursday, and it's Father's Day today. We spent the Father's Day weekend in Vegas. We went to a baby shower, went to a anniversary, wedding anniversary renewal. Um, and right now we're about to leave. I didn't vlog because we had a lot going on this weekend. And we just woke up, as you can tell. For the first time in forever. Happy Father's Day to Eric. This is our little view. Now we're about to head back to Cali, right Kyrie? Lady, uh. Hey y'all, it's been a while. Um, we've been to New York, we've been to Vegas. I know the vlog is probably all over the place. I don't even know what I last left off, but um, I just finished making Kyrie goodie bags for his party on Friday. So I decided to throw him a party in school. It's more convenient because all the kids are already there and I already know how many um, gift bags to make. All I have to do is bring the cake. Um, I'm talking low because Eric is in the room sleeping because he works nights now, so he sleeps during the day. And um, Saturday is Kyrie's actual birthday and I'm gonna take him to the water park because he's been wanting to go to the water park for the longest. I was gonna do Disneyland, but I waited too long to book the tickets and they didn't have the availability that I needed for his birthday. So we're gonna go to the water park and um, I like the water park anyway because they can just run and do whatever they need to do to enjoy themselves And by the time they come back, they'd be exhausted. So yeah, I already paid for the cake yesterday I had Kyrie come with me and pick up his cake and then next I'm gonna have to plan Trey's birthday, which is in July um, We had a successful Father's Day weekend in Vegas It was a wedding we attended and a baby shower we attended and then my aunt's celebration was a success My cousin's celebration was a success. So everything's been going good so far. Some has been a okay. I don't know the next time I pick up the camera to vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog during his birthday or not. But if I don't, I'll just give y'all another update on what happened or what was going on. But until then, I will speak to y'all 